Hello and welcome to a new video on speeding up geometric Brownian motion with a C++ DLL. I'm your host, Trader Zade, and hopefully you're doing very, very well. In Apex Predator, we use geometric Brownian motion quite a lot. And so maybe finding implementation for geometric Brownian motion that's a bit quicker might be of some use. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to start the DLL tester. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to be using and we're gonna start, okay? So the whole idea is that in um, MQL5, nothing is parallel, right? And so what we'd like to do is actually uh, generate a um, parallel process for um, this geometric Brownian motion, right? Function over and over and over and over again, linear workers doing it at the same time. So I'm lagging a bit just because, uh, you know, it took a couple of seconds to do that. Recording is computational heavy on the computer. So the C++ geometric Brownian motion took 32 seconds. Very, very, very nice. Okay. And then what we're going to see is that the um, regular geometric Brownian motion on the uh, MQL5 takes about double the time. Okay, so this is going to be about 60 seconds, 64, something like that, maybe maybe 70, depending on whatever, right? So the question is, how do we do this? How do we get this DLL? So you have to be on Windows, you have to get Visual Studio, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Parallel GBM, and here I've written a, uh, an instant, uh, a geometric Brownian motion in um, C++, right? So here I have all my imports, and here's the, uh, this is a global value, this is the res value. So we're going to run geometric Brownian motion, right? We're going to do it like the regular way, and every single time it completes, it's going to update this value, okay? So we're going to do it in parallel, so at any given moment, this uh, function could complete, right? And it's just going to update this. So we give a number of cores, say we want to do like eight cores or something like that, right? So at the very end, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run these all in parallel. Uh, this might need to be full screen. We need to run these all in parallel. And as you can see, we have um, the geometric Brownian motion. This is the function we're going to pass in the variables. And we're going to do this for uh, the number of threads that we want, right? So I have about 48 cores, so I'm going to do about 48, whatever. And then once I'm done with this res value, I'm going to set it back equal to zero. Okay. Now I also need a uh, header. So if I go over here, this is the really important part. Uh, you have to have, um, you know, x turn uh, C, and you have to uh, define these uh, APIs or whatever in these exports. And then this is just the DLL main. Now this is very, very important. This has to be a dynamically linked library for C++, not a universal, nothing else. So make sure that uh, when you're doing this, you're getting the right um, the right setup here, right? And you've got all your naming conventions uh, down and correct. Okay, so let's go over to the MQL5 uh, uh, file. And as you can see, we are going to uh, set things up so what we have to do is that once we actually um, build this DLL, so we want to point this, um, we want to build the DLL with release. We don't want to do debug or anything like that. We want a, a release. So <clears throat> I'm going to point this, uh, D, um, this, so it starts in library. So I've built the project in the libraries uh, folder and we're going to point to this parallel GBM plus plus DLL in the release, okay? And then all we have to do is import the function. Don't include the values here. Um, just you know the double, the double, the int, and the the type, and the return type. And here I've instantiated regular geometric Brownian motion. And this is how you more or less call these uh, these functions. Okay. So as you can see, this is a uh, hundred thousand samples. So it took us you know what 20, 30 seconds to generate. 800,000 samples, and then the regular geometric Brownian motion um, in uh, C plus, or, um, MQL5 requires much more time, and we're going to actually see that in a second. So, 
So as you can see, it actually, because I'm recording, it actually took four times as long. Um, so uh, this is like four times faster, right? Which is very nice. And these are just smaller values, right? And only with like eight cores or whatever, right? So maybe you have a computer with more cores. Maybe it goes even crazier. I don't know. Really, really cool. This is a four time, two to four times speed up of geometric Brownian motion. And all you have to do is uh, make sure that you point, um, when you create the project in the uh, Visual Studio, you point that project um, in the libraries um, folder of the MQL5. So hopefully this uh, was instructive. Um, as you can see, I've implemented the geometric Brownian motion in my Apex Predator um, with the C++ speed up. And uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty nice. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.